the bourbon industry was full, I would say, Al, of the old brands. You know, we're going to talk about the new exciting brands of today as we go through our interview, but everything was status quo. Our flagship brand was Old Forester, the founding brand of the company. Early times, competitors like Old Granddad, Old Crow, Old Taylor, Old Fitzgerald, the old just went, went down the road. And nothing had changed. You maybe had two or three expressions of each. And they were all pretty well priced at the same price point. So everybody was fighting for the same pie, and the pie was shrinking at the time. Sales were going down because tequila was growing, vodka was growing, and then, of course, what was really red hot in those days was Canadian whiskey. And the cry was, everybody's drinking lighter, drinking lighter. So fortunately, Brown Foreman had a very large Canadian whiskey brand that became the number one selling Canadian whiskey brand in the world, our Canadian Mist brand. So we had, a, we had an option for a consumer interface, but everything was just slowly declining. And I, I sensed a, a feeling of what do we do, how do we address this, and no one really quite knew. So they kept advertising brands just as they always advertised brands. And today, of course, we have a bartending culture and there's, there's bar promotions, we call it on-trade promotions. Back then, everything was driven through the package stores. It was put a bottle in a store and someone will buy it. And we didn't realize at the time, but we were on the cusp of a change. So I would say when I entered the bourbon business, it was, it was uh, maybe the worst of times. 